this video we are going to show how to set the workpiece coordinate. This coordinate is the place where the piece is programmed in the table or on the table. So we need to set the height of the material and the point of the zero of the program, which is called work piece coordinate or WPC. So to do that, we take the tip of the tool and touch with the surface we are going to cut. You can do this by moving the machine unit. Look for the point of the zero coordinate that you have programmed uh, in the that you have that you have set in the program. Then we touch the, the tool tip to the work face like he's doing now and this is going to be the X Y coordinate of the program the coordinate in the X axis and the coordinate in the Y axis but the coordinate in the C axis because we know that the thickness of this surface is 21 millimeters over the, the black table, which is the zero, we are going to set that 21 millimeters in the, in the work shift coordinate. So then to set that coordinate, we depress offset setting and move it there in the external sheet, we put 21 millimeters. Then we move to the X coordinate of the G54 coordinate and depress F1, war piece coordinate. Apply machine coordinate and then yes. Then repeat that action for the Y axis. So move the cursor to the Y, then press F1, F1 again for yes, and once the, you press yes, the coordinate automatically sets in the Y coordinate of the G54. Now the machine is ready to start running in the auto mode. For this purpose, where we are going to start the machine, in using the MPG simulation, which is, we are going for safety, we are going to make the machine work step by step by rotating the MPG generator. Let's do it. To do that, we go to the monitor screen, then we depress auto, Okay, well, let, let's put it uh, over. We depress auto, then manual pulse generator simulation, and we take the device. Press cycle start first, and then we start rotating. Once we are sure that the machine is working properly, The machine is executing the program, but it's controlled manually by the manual pull generator. Now the spindle started, and it's going down to start machining the work. Once we are sure that everything goes okay, we can turn off the manual pull generator and the press cycle start again. 